Welcome, my name is Matt Bautel, and in this unit, we're gonna learn about authentication methods in Firebase. All right, so I wanna start off by showing you the cool app that we're gonna be creating uh, in this unit. Uh, so this is is one that's, that's I don't know, maybe appropriate for the unit since we're talking about authentication. Uh, this is an app that you can use to actually store other passwords. So kind of like a LastPass or, or um, something like that. All right, so it starts off at the login screen because I'm not authenticated. Uh, and the first, you'll see that we have different ways of authentication. The first one is just sort of simple uh, login using some credentials that I've just set up directly on Firebase. This is by far the easiest one to, to code up. Um, uh, so let, let me just show you this. So I just made a simple user here, a at b.com. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead, simple password here. And I'm just gonna click login. All right, now if I do, we'll see it, it takes me into Password Keeper. Uh, so this is, this is your first time looking at it. Uh, let's see what we have. So it supports all the, the standard uh, CRUD methods. So if I hit plus here, I can create an, a new password. So what service is it with? Uh, and then username and password. All right, I won't do that right now. Uh, I can edit an existing one. So if I click on this Netflix one, you see it kind of kind of expands out, kind of a neat UI feature. And then I'm going to uh, click edit. And again, I, I have access to this data so I can I could update it if I wanted to. So, you know, I said that it was a secreter password. Maybe that's even that isn't uh, secret enough. So it becomes the secret test password, the most secret one. All right, uh, very good, not secret at all. And that's not my Netflix password. Uh, so there we go. So, so we have that. Actually, I don't even have Netflix anymore. So anyway. Uh, we can also delete. So deletion on this is just swipe to delete. So if we swipe aside, it'll say it removed it. We can undo that if we want, you know, say that was a bad idea. Um, looks like I just I just missed it here. So I uh, caught it a little bit too late, right? So I should have undone quicker. Uh, all that to show you that I can log in and, and see a password. I'm gonna go ahead and log out now. That was all as one user. So now I'm gonna log in actually as myself, right? So this is using Google Plus login. Uh, every Android user, of course, has um, has a Google account. Uh, so that's that's what we're going to check here, and we'll see that in this account, I have I have two different uh, passwords. So I have an Expedia password, uh, and then one for for Delta. And again, all all fun fake passwords here. Uh, not not very secure at all. Uh, great, and I can modify these. I can do anything I want with them, just like I did with the other account. Okay. All right, I'm going to log out. And do this one more time. So you see the third one here is, is login with, with Rosefire. And Rosefire is a, is a custom authentication method uh, that's meant for Rose Holman students to authenticate using their Rose Holman credentials. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my username here. And for my password, I'm gonna slide off the screen because I, I think it, it, it shows a whole bunch of this as, as it goes. Uh, let's see, so give me a second to do this. And we'll shrink down the keyboard and we will log in. All right, and we'll see that I have a couple other passwords in here uh, that, that I stored under my, my Rose account. And again, these are all separate from the other ones that I made in the other accounts. All right, so authentication lets each user uh, have access to their own data. Uh, allows us to create some, some really neat uh, kind of apps here. So uh, first, let's give credit where it's due. Um, so all of this right here um, it was was done by 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 Tyler um, again. So so Tyler created the the examples of the whole password keeper app uh, and the idea for it. Everything uh, is is his. Uh, he also made a first draft of the slides that we're using right here. So huge help. Uh, big shout out to Tyler. Thank you very much. Uh, great great stuff we get going on here. All right, and finally, uh, let's talk a little bit about our goals for the for the whole unit. Um, so a couple different things here. Really, it's it's about authentication, as you saw. Um, different authentication methods work a little bit differently. So we're going to work through in the the video here. We're gonna we're gonna work through three different ones: the simple uh, username, sort of email and password kind of thing uh, that's built into to Firebase. We'll look at how it how it ties in with with Google. Um, then we we will uh, take a look at Rosefire. Um, so like we said, a, a custom library here for, for Rose Holman students. Um, and then finally in the lab, you're gonna be doing another um, third party service. Um, most people are probably gonna choose Twitter uh, just because it's, it's fairly straightforward compared to some of the others, okay? Uh, so that's all one thing. Uh, if you wanna do authentication, 
uh, then you're going to have to separate out or somehow uh, secure your data on Firebase so that users only see their own data and don't get access to everyone's. Uh, so we're going to learn a little bit more about Firebase rules that are going to be used to limit access. That's it for, for this unit. I hope you come back next time. We're going to dig into the starting code for the Password Keeper app. All right, see you then. Thank you.